Welcome, everybody. This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for January 10th, 2019. Happy New Year. It's a new year, and you have a new opportunity to make something different happen. We really recommend that you take a look at our program, take a look at our coaching, and take a look at your bank account. And if you decide that you want to do something about your bank account, let us know. I'm with Coach Jay today. We're uh, looking at January 10th. And could we make some money in stock options today? Definitely. Today, we've got a weak bull trend you can see here on the basket. Uh, we've got a bit of an uptrend for today. And then it's gone sideways there about a little after 11 o'clock market time. And it's just channeling through here. Overall, though, there's very low volume today. So it's still moving up. but we'll say there's not a lot of confidence in that move, but it's, it's doing it. And it says risky times. And that's, you know, currently just because of the volatility that's going on. And, you know, overall, when you start seeing highlighted stuff on the basket, you know, it's a day that, that there's definitely some money to be made. So I think we can dive into this day and, and come out with something nice. We're going to go back here. Took a little while for the day to get warmed up. As you can see here, it was pretty flat this morning, a little bit of a downtrend. So let's move back in time. And get this set up for you. All right. We're going to get rid of the basket and dive into Costco. Costco has been seeing some runs lately, which has been uh, interesting with all the market activity. And I don't know why, but we'll take advantage of it when we see it. <laughs> so here we go. You can see Costco much like the basket, it is following roughly the trend that's on the basket. You can see this is about the same time frame on the basket where there was that blue trend. And you can see it starting to warm up again. Look at the size of that volume. Right here, that's this amazing. thing is just telling you, hey, look, we've been channeling for a while. Now we're going to pick a direction. It's made it through some resistance. You've got the Fantastic Four and its sidekick volume. Let's get in this opportunity. That's a pretty clear, pretty clear signal. Look at this thing run. Beautiful. And we've got another big volume spike right here. So, I mean, as far as thinking about volume spikes as bookends, I think this is a pretty clear sign of, of bookends and or brackets. And we'll take 20% any day of the week and go ahead and close this out we could if we were curious to see hey what else how far could this be going but again go with the known 20 percent. it's already gone through some significant resistance in this dotted blue line here and this whole dollar amount so i'm going to call it there i mean this volume spike just it just jumps out at you and it's almost screaming at you so yeah. Let's go ahead and close that. And if you'd like, Scott, we can move forward a minute or two. Yeah, let's do that because I'm always curious. So and you, so could, it, you could have squeezed a few more pennies out of it, but the risk was too high. Yeah, I think, you know, there may be another 5% there, but I, I do not care. <laughs> yeah. 
I see these volume spikes and, and see the the length of its run and, and what it's gone through. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that money and run. Warren Buffett, when asked how he made his fortune, said, I always got in too late and got out too soon. And uh, what he really meant when he said that, when you think about it, was he made sure the trend was in the direction that he thought it was, and he got out before the trend reversed. Because one thing we know is every trend ends. That's right. And as I've said before, we want the meat in the middle. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Warren Buffett had a more eloquent way of saying that, but. <laughs> <laughs> the meat in the middle. I love it. Perfect. The meat in the middle. Let it, let it uh, do its thing so you know which way it's going. And while it's still going that direction, get out. That's right. That's right. And you'll notice when you look at actually like uh, the dollar numbers, as it starts to weaken and, and reverse, those change dramatically. So it's not a linear, not usually a linear thing either. So that's why it's even more important to get out before the trend ends. That's right. Let's take a look right. at another stock. Yeah, we got Netflix here. Netflix, even among all the downturn in the market, has been having some some runs as of late as the markets you know, turned around a little bit since the beginning of the year, and Netflix has been enjoying some of that. So we're watching Netflix here. Netflix, they're having these trends up, but then these long kind of bouts of sideways movement, and then a nice trend up and these kind of bouts of sideways movement. So I like to look at that and, and I don't want to say uh, anticipate in the sense of, oh, I'm going to get in here. But really the intent is, okay, this trend is over. I could probably plan on it going sideways for a little bit. So we'll keep an eye on it. As you can see here, it's gone a little sideways, but it does tend to go once it has these bursts. There was a little fake out right here, but it didn't break through some of the resistance. So not as interested. Now I'm interested. Again, we got the volume spike. We're a little weak on the signal, but everything else is there. And it's looking like there's really not much ahead of it. We don't see a lot of blue lines. You do have these lines here, which are resistance, but as far as any other colored lines, dotted lines, it's, it looks like it has some room to go for sure. So I am interested in this. And we'll buy the call. And we're going to dig in here with this one. All right, we're looking at 13% on this one. This one is a bit of a long, a long run, but you can see it comes up. There is some resistance met with this Y point, but the market is still staying strong and it kicks right back in to go up here. There really, like I said, isn't much. It's really trying to reach for this previous high 20 day break above. Right. Oh, one of the things I wanted to show on here was the time scale. So we're still on the one minute. Due to the time of day, time scales matter. So that's a little bit different story, isn't it? It is a different story. We'll, we'll just quickly. So we went, that was a three minute candle. And we can go to the back to the one minute. So you may have seen this and are oh man that, that's got to be an exit well it is or i should say it depends and we'll go to a two minute time scale and it's still there and we go to a three minute time scale 
And you can see that it's really just an Einstein fractal. And it's still, this is a huge wick with not a lot of candle, but it is pushed up pretty high. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So it's sort of the taking a breath. You did a sprint, took a breath, and then you continue. Yeah, that's perfect analogy, Scott. That's, that's right on there. And then you see the Y point pop up there and the Einstein fractal. That's enough. That's a significant enough for me to want to exit the trade. Time to go. So we'll go ahead and close that out and see if it ran out of steam. Ran out of steam. And then just kind of channels. I mean, it's still following a lot of the same same behavior as before. They're on different scales and different lengths, but you know, a burst up and then sideways. And so I always look to the left on these charts, especially on the on the main main chart, and see, hey, what 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 is you know what is its behavior? What what has it kind of been doing or telling us throughout the day? Right. So what's interesting, and this is a really good. This is a really good point that you brought up, Coach Jay, and one of the reasons why coaching is so important. Certain times of the day, we prefer looking at certain time frames, like one minute. Certain times of the day, you're getting three minutes or five minute candles, depending on your preferences. And uh, if you're not aware of this, you can be making some bad decisions based on the wrong time frame because you're looking at what's happening to a rose-colored lens, maybe when you should be looking at it through a clear lens that has no color in it. And um, this is a really good example of that. It would have been, I, when I was looking at the one minute, I was thinking, oh, well, we should get out here, right? But when you look at the three minutes, it's like, no, we're just taking a, a little breather for a few minutes and and continue on. Uh, you've, got the, you know, you've got a totally different story depending on the time of, the time that you're using. That's right. And it also is up to, you know, you as a trader. So some stuff will, my eyes will pick up some stuff in different time frames. And lots of times I look for a time frame that makes sense to me with my style of trading. So we could be looking at a one minute candle and I may be thinking, I just want a lightning trade. You, you'll notice that a lot of my my trades are, I think Coach Rob is the one who started that, but the the lightning trade, you know, in and out. I, I love those. I love those short bursts, and I don't want to stick around to see what the aftermath is. But sometimes it makes sense as you're looking at a particular stock to look at it at different time frames and see what pops out at you and if that really fits with how you trade. So in this case, looking at the three minute long-term, I really like the these bursts right here. So that, that my eye picks that up a yeah. lot better than you know some of the one yeah. minute stuff where things get a little cluttered or a little crazy. And so it's advantageous to kind of scale through especially if you have your eye on a particular stock, say you've done some analysis pre-market, you know, and you have your, your targeted stocks, then you can really adjust through the time scales to see, to create an environment for your trading strategy. And you learn, learn that through experience, but also coaching. Coaching can help speed up that process. Yeah. So do we have one more stock we want to look at for the 10th? We do. We're going to go to our, um, what do I want to say? Our, our recent burst stock, Tilray. It's just been bursted onto, the, onto our list and has just been having some major opportunities. And so speaking of time scales, you can see here on the one minute candle, life is crazy and volatile and Tilray. So we're gonna try and smooth some of that out. And that's a mess. That is a mess. 
Mess in a good way if you like the volatility for making money. <laughs> I meant I meant mess in like too much color. It's like how do you make sense of it, sort of thing. Right. Uh, yeah. There. It is. So here we are with Tilray. It it has gone up. It's just got all sorts of activity and excitement. It went a little sideways here, weak candles, and then picked up a little steam. And the bears liked the direction that it was going. And so they wanted to continue that a little bit further down. Here is a put opportunity. You've got some volume. You've got that K band. You've got a little light signal. And it's getting away from the risk zone. Oh, dropping like a rock. Yeah, that's a lot of distance pretty fast. And that's a cool 10% on a pretty straightforward trade. And it's hitting some resistance with another volume spike going on. So I'm just going to get out of Dodge. It's heading towards a, a place. You've got this hard to see here, but you've got the pre-market bottom, you've got the pivot, and you got the call zone among some some dollar amounts and it's just getting a little too messy for me when i start seeing a lot of mess when it's heading into it i want to uh i want to get out of it it's kind of like a avoiding rush hour traffic you know would you rather get your your errands done when there's no rush hour traffic kind of get in or get out outside and and get back to your house before rush hour or do you want to try and fight the traffic to try and get your errands done. And I don't like fighting traffic. It's the last thing I want to do. Mm -hmm. And so I just get out. So we'll close that out there and see where, see what happens from here. And it goes right down to that turnaround point and hangs out and gets pretty weak. I'm yeah, not that, interested. That looks like a really uh, stressful spot. Yeah, there's just too much indecision. People have lost interest. I mean, these candles are super weak. Yes, you still have the K-band and some light signal, but it's just too messy. It ended up with a Y point and an Einstein fractal among all these other lines of resistance. Yeah. No, no, thank you. I don't need the stress. Yes, I you know, we could maybe keep going and, you know, there's, there's, you know, a big drop, but I, I, I don't care. It's not worth sitting through this. I know that I got 10% and I want to spend time with my family or, or doing something else important to me. That's right. It's time for the beach. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Cool. So let's take a look at uh, our summary for the day. So Costco, we made 20% in seven minutes. Netflix, we made 14.4% in 13 minutes. Hillary, we made just under 10% in five minutes. So I would say, Coach Jay, that that's a pretty good day. Yeah, two hours of your time for 40 plus percent. You're not, you're not going to be able to do that in, you know, in casually uh, investing or, or long-term investing. And, and so this really gives an opportunity to generate some income and add to that wealth that you're, you know, your nest egg, so to speak, you know, add to those for that other return on, you know, stocks options really supply an opportunity for income, especially when the market is, in flux like it has been you know we've been down since the end of october roughly middle end of october and we've been on an up trend since uh just after just after the new year so a great time for trading options and really add some diversity to you know what you can do 
than just the you know kind of buy and hold or, or long term uh, stock trading. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for sharing this, Coach Jay. Uh, do you have a tip for traders that you'd like to share? My number one rule: go with the known. Go if you got a profit and you're headed into murky waters. Just get out. It's not worth sticking around. That's right. Cool. Thanks for joining us, everybody. This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for January 10th, 2019. Appreciate you a lot. Uh, look forward to uh, hearing how your trades go. And we'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.